Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Mark here and this is Cricket Bat Info. And today we're doing another MIDS. Now this MIDS has been sent in by David from Tasmania. So he's actually purchased this bat. And I guess that's the main reason I'm sort of doing the review because we've done a lot of MIDS. Let's have a look at it. So what we have here is a MIDS and it's got legacy stickers on it that he's chosen. And the actual bat is the Andre Fletcher profile. Andre Fletcher used to play for mids. Uh, the Spice Man, I think they call him. I've got to be honest, I've been a bit negative on the mids and I think the last two that I had come through um, and you can check out the playlist, I was a bit down on them. And then before that we had a, a B3 Beluga copy and the measurements were a little bit skewed on that one but it was a really, really nice bat. But I've actually been reviewing mids since I had a look, it was 2018, January 2018. So, you know, it's four and a half years and I've done, I think six different bats over that time. And the general thing that I'm finding with them, uh, which makes it a little bit of deja vu is, is nothing really has changed with the brand. Now that can be a good thing and that can be a bad thing. So let's just go through this bat and uh, we'll weigh up all the pros and cons. So firstly, I've discussed this cover before. Uh, this black stuff comes off, particularly if the bat's oiled or wet. Uh, if you gave me that cover, knowing what I know, I would throw this straight in the bin. So that's not worth anything. I'll leave the link to where he got it from. I actually know the guy from the former Discord server. Yeah, the last two that went bad came through him and there was a few issues. And I've, I've disclosed all that in the past video. So if you wanna go and have a look at that, you can go and have a look at it. So. I'm trying to be as objective as possible and I've always said that I review a bat in front of me, not the entire brand. So that's the bat there and we've got some nice grains, a little bit of marbling across the face. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a little bit of an eleventh grain there. You can see the wobble has come through with that marbling. Generally this type of marbling is actually pretty good for performance. Um, the bat profile itself, really any major concaving. So we'll chuck the gauge on it and we'll have a look at that. So yeah, it's almost hitting the top of the gauge, isn't it? And as far as width, I'm pushing that on that side and we're seeing it's got a little tiny bit of narrowing. I'm not too worried about that. I would say we're looking at about 100 and, uh, 107. I don't think it's that narrow. Um, but the peak of the spine, you know, in that top there, we're sacrificing maybe three mil on the top, maybe two, and that flat face, you can see that there, if I hold that up, uh, we're sacrificing definitely another couple of mil there. So probably sacrificing all up about four mil. Now that the gauge runs to, I think it's, 68 millimeters, 69. Um, so it should be under that, it should be about 65. But that um, profile is really in a mid position right here. Uh, and it doesn't have too thin a toe either as I look at it that way. Uh, I like the fact that it's got a bit of camber and I do like the fact that we're looking at a round toe. One thing I did notice, because I've already done the B-roll for this thing, I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to hold it that way. This shoulder here is actually thicker than this one here by a few millimetres. So, a little bit of inconsistency there. Just as it comes up, I don't know uh, if it's just here that it's, it's happened. The other thing I'm seeing here with the bat is I'm seeing some sort of bog up here in the top of the splice here. And so, not you know, perfectly fitted. And the other obvious thing I'm seeing is that something's gone wrong with the tape here. So I think I complained about whoever that is at mids messing up the tape last time. So that's easy fix just by pulling a few of those off. I've said this to you before that the actual texturing on these mids and it hasn't really improved in the four and a half years I've been doing them. Normally what happens is when I'm preparing these bats, um, they just start to crack and and fall off. So it's just some sort of treatment in a clear that goes over the top. Uh, there is texturing here, I can see that. Um, it's, a, it's a black and red, it doesn't, doesn't look too bad uh, to my eyes. 
Um, I think I mentioned in one of the videos that maybe they should look at, at sort of updating the font style just to sort of uh, modernize it and, and make it stand out. But it, it is something that might actually really appeal for the local market. It says five star on it. And I, I wouldn't actually doubt that. The willow is actually a really nice quality willow. Uh, nice and clean on the back. This did come in the original uh, plastic cover, which I unwrapped just before I filmed the B-roll. Shoulder, 15.2. Top of the splice, 32.9. Other side, which I pointed out before, 14.1, maybe 13.9, depending where you measure it from. Top of the edge, 38.3. Do the top of the toe down here, 23.1. Center of the toe, 25.7. Width of the blade, 106.9. Spine height, 64.3. So that's your basic dimensions. What I'm seeing here is a fairly decent thickness in the toe uh, and plenty of wood down in this area here. Uh, and obviously nice and full through here too. The shoulder and the splice, very thin, very much typical of the type of bats we've got coming through at the moment. Um, obviously, you know, if you leave more depth here, then you allow yourself uh, room to sort of craft a nice spine leading up into a thick oval handle. So that's not what this is. Uh, I didn't measure the back of it. 106.4. So I'm not really worried about that. It's 107 and 106.4. Um, the edges themselves are pretty sharp. There's no real attempt to bone them and that does enhance the thickness of the edge. I mean, but you look at that profile, you've got plenty of wood leading down here into thing and, and this does actually remind me of a player style profile with that full sort of shape and plenty of wood in the hitting area some player profiles can actually run a bit deeper uh, depending on the density of the willow and and really low density willow uh, is well, particularly during the COVID years became harder and harder to find it's not a too bad a shape I, th I think a lot of you would be happy with that $650-ish, I think, delivered. Yeah, it's pretty good. The big question is, you know, how does that actually pick up? So I think this feels like about a 2.9 in the hands, maybe a little bit under. Um, fairly well weighted. The thing that's really hurting it is it's got a really skinny round handle. And I know that the owner probably would want that thick. Um, so, you know, an extra grip has to be added and then you're going to add more weight. Um, and then the bat will actually feel a little bit better too. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think this is a handle for everybody. Somebody who's really wristy, but it's not for everybody. So I'd say this is sort of on that thinner side. And let's see if there's any uh, twist in that handle. No, no. Oh, maybe a little bit. I haven't actually looked under the handle to see what's going on. And we've got three rubber inserts and the binding itself has actually been properly glued down. So that's actually quite good quality um, there. So that's, that's actually glued down um, rather than just left uh, without any glue. So that's actually gonna hold. What is the actual weight? Yeah, 210.2. Definitely picks up better than it actually weighs. Uh, and I've got to admit, I'm not playing cricket at the moment. I haven't played cricket since, uh, uh, I think, March last year. But I still think I'm around the mark. So I, I think that's 2.9, uh, picks up a little bit better. And why is that? I think there's no real weight being taken out here. It's just a well-balanced bat. So it will get, it get even better when they add some uh, extra grip and, and things like that. Uh, presentation wise, I mean, again, you've got that tape that's just sort of coming off here. Now, I don't know why that happens. Um, as I said, the bubble wrap, the actual 
wrap was still on it, but it doesn't take a lot when a bat's going out to just do the finishing touches and things like that. And that's one of the things that I see with, uh, with mids and I've sort of pointed out in the past. Um, this one, the stickers are on uh, straight. Now, I was really impressed with the mid Luger, the Beluga, as far as ping, and then everything sort of fell apart on the next two, which was disappointing. Let's see how this one actually taps up. So starting at the toe, I've got the microphone here at the front here, and I've got one that I'm wearing. Um, so starting at the toe. So that marbling is actually giving it a little bit of action there. It's nice in a low position, mid low. There's like a little bit of a mark running through here and it's actually really pinging off that. And going all the way up. And it's really gonna fly off of that bar there. So you hear that difference in sound? Yeah, the pressing is actually really spot on this one. So, that's only going to get better, and I like the fact that it's on the slightly firmer side, and even though we've got that hard bar, well not hard bar, that hardness there, um, these are responsive, they're not dead, uh, and that's only going to improve with uh, preparation. So this is actually going to be a really, really nice bat. Uh, so there you have it, that is the mid in our Andre Fletcher Spiceman profile, that one there. Um, love to hear your thoughts. Should I continue doing uh, accepting mids? Have you, ha have you seen enough? Do you want to see more? Um, what type of uh, bats would you rather see? Maybe suggest things in the comments and other viewers will look and if they've got them and can get them to me, we'll get a chance to review them. I hope you found me fairly honest today. Not too harsh on it. Not trying to bring in what happened in the last video into this video. It's a completely different thing. Uh, if you want to get in touch with the person that he bought it from, uh, I'll leave the link in the description. And uh, as you saw with the Mid Luger, uh, you can actually get customs done by them as well. So thank you very much for supplying that, uh, David. And this may be his last bat, I'm not sure. I know he's fairly busy at the moment. So I'd like to say thank you very much, David, for all the support that you've given the channel. Uh, and I reckon the playlist that we've got is about 60, 70 videos. And to people, you know, like that's just how much support this guy has given uh, purchasing bats and, and getting them uh, reviewed. Um, it's really, really uh, massive for this channel. So I hope you drop him a like and some comments to say thanks to him. And this has been The Mitz. See you everybody.